We have game four of the Rockies Padres series, and this one was the opposite of a pitcher's duel. Neither pitcher really had it today, as Blake Snell would let the Rockies jump out to an early 3 0 lead. His final line was three and two thirds, allowing five runs, walking six guys. So that was not good, putting his ERA over five on the season. So Kyle Freeland, he is pitching with a 5 2 lead here, and Trent Grisham, he's going to hit a homer in the fifth, so make it 5 to 3 right now. And the Padres, they're trying to get this win to split the series and Kyle Freeland we'll get back to him later as now it's the top of the fifth a couple hits later it's going to be Jorge Alfaro tying the game so he was given a 5-2 lead going into the fifth inning where if he completed this inning he would be in line for getting the win and he was not able to complete the inning and he allowed the Rocky or the Padres to tie it up and look at him after he was pulled from the game and after the Padres tied it up he takes a bat and he is destroying the dugout ceilings in Coors Field so that's going to need to be replaced you can see that wood flying all over the place and then he chucks the bat so obviously he was not happy with himself he had that lead and he knew that he blew it he did not feel good about it but you have teammates for a reason and that's to pick you up so it's going to be jose iglesias he's going to hit a go-ahead double in the bottom of the six to get kyle freeland off the hook see all-star cj crone would get another hit that would be an rbi to make it seven to five and then later it's going to be randall gritchick his second rbi double of the game as he's going to put this one right down the line so even though Freeland let them get back into it the Rockies are going to end up winning this and winning three out of four in a four game series against the Padres they take this one eight five